news from Knit Happens Teesside for the 33rd week of 2024. The other night at knitting, Helen was sewing some of her flowers to her blanket. It really looked a lot better with the flowers on. It's kind of getting sort of 3D and um, getting near the end as well. I think she's nearly finished. She was also planning, her, um, yes, it's Hector. Um, I have a Cedric, <laughs> but Helen's friend's bear is Hector. Well, Hector's having um, a hat made to match his jumper sweater. So I think that might be the next job when, or I suppose you can crochet or knit or do whatever she likes in, on two different projects at the same time. Um, I was working on, oh, and if this looks different, it is different. <laughs> I used to sit there and now I'm sitting here facing that wall instead of that wall and using my new equipment, including a fan, fan dangled microphone <laughs> that changes colour. I'm hoping this is better quality because it'll definitely be easier for me to edit because it'll all be already in one place-ish or at least on one device. <laughs> I used to have to wait for quite a while to upload videos to the place I was going to edit them. So on Thursday at Knit Happens Teesside I was working on this um, Smooth Fox Beginners Round Ripple Crochet Baby Blanket. I haven't got a lot left of this last, this first ball, shall I say not last. I have a few balls of this. And it is quite easy to be getting along with while you're talking. Which the cardigan that I'm making, the baby cardigan that's been on previous weeks, I haven't got it with me now because there's not a lot to show you. I counted my rows properly for si for the first size, and then I got to the armhole, the the armhole shape and the head sleeve head shaping, and realised that I had followed the instructions for the first size, but I'm actually knitting the second size, <laughs> and it's also looking like I'm not going to have enough wool. So I'm going with the plan A and making the second sleeve the same as the first sleeve and it'll just have to fit baby or not fit baby. But the good news about this one is it's going to coordinate very nicely with baby's pram. As far as I know, unless minds are changed. This is lemon and ginger tea. I've had quite a few coffees. In my... Ooh, that's weird, isn't it? My mug that's got the cover picture from the issue 15 of Blocked magazine on it. And earlier on in the week, me and Neil from Blocked magazine did a live that was, I think, nearly three hours long. <laughs> It didn't feel like it and I really enjoyed it. Partly because I could see people's comments on my new screen. <laughs> um, so that was a lot of fun. If you fancy listening to a lot of waffle while you're doing some, busy doing something, maybe you'd like a listen. Um, Jill wasn't at knitting this time. Um, a special announcement. Danielle's had the baby. And we saw the baby's father. And he looked shell-shocked. <laughs> so, she might bring the baby in to see us, might she? That'll be nice. 
Um, so Jill wasn't there. But Fee, Fee has been making hats. Quite a few hats. So she's made, let me see. I hope this is good enough quality for you and that this is the way forward. Sorry, Neil, if I've messed your cross stitch up. <laughs> My windows are that way. Um, she's made um, an Alaska hat or maybe two. That's by Camille. I haven't. Descouter and the Passerine hat. My problem is my glasses, not as much as the pronunciation. Passerine hat, which has got birds on, by Erica Husser. So those are the hats that Fee has been making and I think she said she was going to sell them or auction them for charity. So you know I have two doggies. Well, the nails get long, don't they? And I groom them myself. I cut and comb and bathe them myself. Especially the grey one, who the Bedlington Terrier, Lottie, who needs lots of regular trimming because she does not shed and she just gets like a woolly mammoth and also gets knotty. So when we used to try to clip the nails with some nail clippers, um, I don't know if it's to do with previous owners because both, each of my dogs have been around just over a year when we took them in. So we don't quite know what's happened to them in the past. Now, Lottie is the most gentle dog, but when you go near her to clip her nails, she snarls and bares her teeth. And I know she wouldn't. I don't think she would bite me. I really don't think she would bite me. But I bought a new device, and it's one of those grinders. So I had done some brushing and combing and trimming, um, which feels rather rather quite like shearing your sheep, only with scissors. Um, I use scissors now because nail uh, the shears the shears got worn out and a fur used to get trapped and then it'd make a funny noise and scare her. And I find that can get quite a good trim with a pair of scissors, though I could do with them sharpening or some new ones or something. Anyway. The nail grinder, I'd, so I'd, she'd been being good for a while, should we say, while I was doing all this. So she was in the zone of being messed with. And then, then I got the nail grinder out. And it's got a light on it, so you can see what you're doing. But unfortunately, my dog's nails are dark colours. Lottie has one light one, and I don't know why. And it didn't used to be light. So I don't know if she's like injured it or something. So that it's got a light on it so that you can see the wick, if they've, especially if they've got light coloured nails. And you can only, because there's a wick in the nail, you can only take so much. But as you, if you do it regularly, then the wick in the nail will recede. Now, it, it, it would bleed if you caught it, if, I'm sure you know. But the grinder, she let me use it. So I did all of the nails, but not very much. And I'll have to keep doing them more regularly. But she was really good. Really good. So we did Roxy a little bit and we did Lottie a little bit. Can you see the numbers moving at the top? The best response we could have had from you, Lottie. Should we do the worst ones? This is your least favourite one, isn't it? To get done, the right one. No, I'll pay it. Look at the 
食べて。You'd be able to walk and everything. <laughs> Better. Oh, there's a knot. Isn't it quiet? I mean, it's not quiet when it's grinding, but. Roxy'd like a go. It's got different speeds. Can you believe it? And I can wholeheartedly recommend getting a nail grinder for your dog if they don't like having the nails trimmed. I think it might tickle because it's a rotating grinder. And then there's a, a cup around that that like gathers the dust nail dust um it's got three speeds and she even let me go to the highest speed i am wearing this is i can't show you the back like that da, 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 da. this was a pattern this is cotton double knit and i think it's probably rowan and this is chenille. All the motifs are chenille. And it was in Elle magazine. When that was a, a thing, I suppose it still is a thing, but they used to have knitting patterns. So it's kind of cropped and loose with a... Uh, what? Well, it's got these on it. I don't know. can't remember. It was years ago. Absolutely years ago that I made this. I would say about 1990, <laughs> maybe around then. So I haven't worn it for a while. I don't really wear it. And there's a button missing. And I don't think, I don't think I've shown it on here before. I do like stars though. So maybe I should start wearing it again. But I really need to sort the buttons out because they are, they are the most peculiar buttons. And I think one of them is broken. The last time we were at the Durham Guild of Spinners, Weavers and Dyers, there was a man there who had a Turkish spindle. And he's, so it's a drop spindle. And he's, I think he's spinning silk or a silk mix. Which is really fine. He does an excellent job of spinning. And the way you wrap it round your spindle. I think you go over one leg and under two. Over one, under two. And it gives you this wonderful pattern. And then all you have to do is dismantle the, the spindle. And you're left with the working ball of yarn ready to make something with not sure what he's going to make with it not sure at all about that one come on then <laughs> are you a cat A bit wobbly. There she goes. Is that a bad meow. <laughs> Do 
you want food? One of the things that we did this week was um, I have a climbing hydrangea, a lace cap white climbing hydrangea that goes about three metres one way, about four metres the other way along a fence and also about a metre out. So we've regained a little bit of space in our garden by chopping it back. It's a bit of a triffid. And one good tip for getting rid of your gardening waste or condensing it a little is to do what we did and get the mower over it. Um, it all fit we did cut quite a lot off and it all fit into one bin liner, which was great. Eat uh, other little wing flies. Catch them on the wing like a bird of prey. Right. So, I think that's about it for this week. Some more news, maybe next week. <laughs>